Greetings fellow Gators, uh, I would like to welcome you to the second part of the project Aurora. Uh, in the previous part I showed you the overall model and in this part we will actually focus on the first part which is this. So we will make a detailed look at the model and basically print everything out, paint and assemble together. Okay. So let's go one by one. Okay, so first we have uh, this piece. And once again everything is done via holes and pegs. And I basically made a one, well, standardized I would say peg, which is 10 millimeters times 10 millimeters. And that is basically used on the entire project. So there are only two types and that works perfectly because uh, you don't have uh, many types of pins or pegs. So yeah. Okay, so we have this part. Then we have the top part that's divided only because of the painting. Uh, there is no other reason to divide those two parts, but uh, I know that I would have a problem with painting with uh, if it would be just one piece, so I divided it. Okay, now the second part. As you can see, it has been, oh, sorry, lock right here. But note, note that it doesn't have lock here, even though we have a uh, lock here. That's for the second part, for the bottom part. Obviously, if it had the lock here, you wouldn't be able to actually put the two parts together. I actually have it there. And I printed there and I yeah I didn't notice it and um, when I tried to assemble it it really didn't work okay so now we will attach all those pins and we will continue so the bottom part with the lock second a bottom part with lock and now this thing this thing actually if we take a look it has this groove and this hole and it basically is meant to slide and hold together those two parts and also slide to this hole so basically to hold everything together even though there are those pegs this is another basically insurance that the two halves the bottom and uh, and top don't go anywhere and then we have this part and it's basically the same thing as here it's basically one big slider that will slide inside and that's it Okay, and now we have only a small pieces, so we, here we have the second type of pins, which is 4 times 10 millimeters, and we have two here and three here, and here we have the front. Now a little discla disclaimer, those two antennas, they are so thin that on my end they basically broke off without well it's sufficient just to uh, blow at them uh, or breathe and they will break so I, I don't have them on the real model only stops I guess okay then here this part And then covers. So first this cover that basically hold the two pieces together and here we have two more covers. Okay but last but not least the mechanism of the leg which is one subassembly in itself and basically it works like this one piece second piece uh, pins through here through here through here through here 
this plate will go through those pegs and all those small pins go inside and that's it. Okay, so that's all when it comes to the model. So I guess now let's get straight into assembling. Okay, so we will start with the uh, mechanism for the third leg. So we have the pieces here and we will now assemble it. So I will take the pin and put it inside. First link, mm -hmm. okay, now we do the same with the second one. Obviously I have to paint it, I have to paint it even though as you can see the two halves don't really match. So I will paint it as well in a layer and yeah, yeah and I can always uh, already attach those pins. So I have them printed here. All pins are attached so I could theoretically already attach it to the body but I won't do it yet. Okay, so I will make another layer of paint so that it's as even as possible and yeah, this is the landing leg. Alright, so everything is printed out and prepared for the assembly. Now, I already uh, attached all those pins both to this part and this part. Here I also attached the leg already. I didn't want to waste time with it and I also attached the small pins here and here that's just for you know um, saving some time so first we will take this thing and put it all together like this and then we will take this and rotate it and now we will take the corresponding piece and push everything together. Okay, and now we will do the same with the second It's attached. Before we go any further, we take this small connector and okay, insert it, and the same here and here with those small ones. So. Now holds the two pieces together, and not just that, also this thing 
we're gonna slide it here and it holds everything together. Now we take this piece with the with the pins and okay, we slid it to the place. Now, as you can see, I already I forgot to uh, print something here, so uh, I will have to repair the print. And last but not least, we have to attach the front. Okay, it's inserted there, I have to use some force. And I see that I still have to paint this thing, I thought... Yeah, that's not a problem. Now, uh, one thing I want to mention, those there were those little antennas, but they were so thin that they didn't really hold. So, yeah, I don't have them. Anyway, yeah, this is the first piece so far. I think it looks nice, even though I have to say that I am not really that thrilled about the bronze color. It's not the best, but as you can see the paint was really something. And yeah, the leg works as intended. So yeah okay then i guess that's it so that's the first uh, part and others will follow okay then i guess that's all for now so have a very nice day and have an even nicer weekend bye bye